Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we discuss a problem based on circular permutation which says, in a group discussion, seven boys and seven girls are to be seated around a circular table so that no two boys may sit together. In how many ways we can do this? Let's understand the question first. In this question, there are seven boys and seven girls who are to be seated around a circular table with a condition that no two boys will be seated together. And we have to find the number of ways for this arrangement. As we already know, the number of ways in which n persons can form a ring is given by n minus 1 factorial that is if you have to make circular arrangements for n number of objects Then we fix the position of any one of the object and the remaining n minus 1 number of objects can be arranged in n minus 1 factorial number of ways. Hence we can say the number of ways in which n persons can form a ring is given by n minus 1 factorial. Also, we have one more principle known as fundamental principle of multiplication which says that if there are two jobs to be done such that the first job can be done in n number of ways and second job can be done in n number of ways then both the jobs together can be done in n multiplied by n number of ways. This is the key idea we shall be using in this question. Let's move on to the solution. We are given that there are seven boys and seven girls to be seated around a circular table. Let us assume that girls first take up their seats. And we have to arrange the position of these seven girls in a circular manner. Using the key idea, we know that n persons can form a ring in n minus 1 factorial number of ways. If there are seven girls in all,
Then, using the key idea, we can fix the position of one girl. Then the remaining six girls can be placed in six factorial number of ways. Or we can say that the number of ways in which seven girls can be seated is given by 7 minus 1 factorial which is equal to 6 factorial. When all the girls have been seated, then there remain 7 places for the boys, each between 2 girls. And these seven places can be filled in seven factorial number of ways. So, the number of ways in which boys can sit is equal to seven factorial. Now there are six factorial ways in which seven girls can be seated and seven factorial ways in which seven boys can be seated. Now we have to find out the number of ways in which seven boys and seven girls will be seated together. Now using the fundamental principle of multiplication, as given in the key idea, it says that if there are two jobs to be done such that the first job can be done in n number of ways and second job can be done in n number of ways, then both the jobs together can be done in n multiplied by n number of ways. So we have our first job that is the number of ways in which girls can be seated is given by 6 factorial number of ways and our second job that is number of ways in which boys can be seated which is given by 7 factorial. So by using the same principle we get the number of ways in which 7 boys and 7 girls will be seated around a circular table is equal to 6 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial. The 6 factorial can be written as 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is further multiplied by 7 factorial which gives 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which on multiplication gives 3 million 628,800. Hence, the number of ways in which seven boys and seven girls can be seated so that no two boys are adjacent 
is three million six hundred and twenty eight thousand eight hundred, which is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood it well.